Events move toward a violent climax in South Korea. With the tide turning against the government, rioting students hurl stones at the home of Vice President-elect Lee ki Pung. He is held mainly responsible for the rigging of the March elections. Rightly or wrongly, he becomes the chief object of the crowd's fury. As this demonstration takes place, Lee and his family have found safe refuge in the presidential compound. Daylight reveals what is left of the house of the vice president-elect. Soon afterward, the end comes for Lee ki Pung. Shown here talking to newsmen after his election, 63-year-old Lee was ailing and could not walk unaided. He said he sought office only because he was needed by his old friend and political associate, President Syngman Rhee. Now with Rhee out and Lee disgraced, a suicide pact wipes out Lee's family. Foreign Minister Hu Chung becomes acting president while a saddened President Rhee goes into retirement. The new South Korean chief promises to reform the conditions that led to the government's overthrow. The crowd's victory won, the riots turn into a celebration. But order returns slowly to the streets of Seoul. After a week of violence in which well over 100 persons died, leaving nearly 700 hospitalized with injuries, bitterness, grief, and confusion only gradually give way to calm. Thank you.